What's going on, guys? Tony here from Paradise Garage and LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. Hope you're doing great. Uh, please let me know in the chat if you can see the video and hear me. Let me know quickly. Just type it in the chat. And also, if you're a Learn Auto Body VIP member, uh, let me know if you're a VIP and where you're tuning in from. Uh, we're going to be on for about 30 minutes today to do Auto Body Q&A. Um, like always, VIPs get priority support. So whatever you're working on, let me know if you have, like, again, I say this every stream. If you have any pictures or videos that you want me to look at, send them to Tony at learnautobodyandpaint.com. My girls will make sure I get it. Or you can send it to ninja support at learnautobodyandpaint.com. And I will also get it. And um, the more detailed information you can get me with images or video, the issues you're having, the more I can help you out, you know, if you send me a sentence or whatever, it's going to be very hard for me to, to help you out on that. Um, so again, type in the chat. Let me know where you're tuning in from. And uh, if you guys can see the video and audio, okay. And then we'll start off with some Q&A for everybody. And uh, we'll go from there. Uh, maybe we'll even head into the garage. I'll be priming a motorcycle parts today. Well, moped parts today or probably yeah i could do it later today or uh or tomorrow but the goal is to get it done by tomorrow it's all sanded out started shooting content um on the whole bodywork process yesterday um we'll go into the garage in just a bit and i'll show you where i'm at with that and um and what i want to do i would think later on this week what's up rich reese rich reese says how are you dan swatsky what's up What's up? What's up, guys? Uh, what I want to do is maybe go live with you on Wednesday or Thursday this week. And I'm going to have a bunch of colors picked out on my table. Um, I want to do a candy paint job with some graphics on it. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll have VIPs vote on what color we should paint the next project as far as this moped project. And, uh, and we can go from there. What do you think about that? And you guys want to kind of play that sort of game or it doesn't matter or whatever. Um, I don't mind going with the popular vote as far as the color combination on the car. I'm thinking, I am personally thinking tangerine orange with black graphics, tangerine candy, uh, because I have the candy and I've never sprayed tangerine candy before as far as colors. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, we have purple candy coming in uh, within the next day or so. Um, so I'll show you all the candy colors I got. And um, I'm going to be doing a silver base, probably a inner coat with heavy metal flake. I want to I wanna do heavy metal flake on this. And then, uh, and then we're going to put the candy on it. We're going to shoot clear coat on it. We're going to let it dry. We're going to wait a couple days. We're going to sand it all down with 800 grit. We're going to mask out for our graphics, spray our graphics, and uh, put two more coats of clear on it. So it's going to be a multiple stage project because of candy. And uh, Rich Reese, what we're doing here on this project is a three stage. Uh, anytime you got multiple layers, you can call it a three stage, you know, whether it's base coat, a pearl layer and then clear coat or whether it's base coat candy uh, and then the clear coat, you know, and then sand it base coat and clear coat again. So there's multiple layers involved you know, if you're doing candy, it's more like a five stage. It could be six stage uh, depending on how much different, how many different colors and tones you're putting on this thing. Uh, Michael G says, have you, how's the Chevelle coming? Figured out the color yet. Um, well, we haven't started the 67 Chevelle project yet. We will get to it this year. That's the goal. Um, after we bang out anybody, any of you guys see the latest one wheel video on the candy fade we did on the one wheel. That was a pretty good video. A lot of people liked it. Um, that one was released last week. Um, we have a detailed version of that one coming out in VIP. It's supposed to be out. I'm waiting for my guy um that has more commentary on the mixtures that i was doing to get that you know because we basically skipped the uh the candy carrier stage and we use clear coat instead so if you guys 
are kind of like confused of what I'm saying. It'll make sense when you guys watch these videos in VIP. Um, as far as the Chevelle, that will be coming. I, I think probably the beginning of summer will probably get started with that car. Um, after the moped project this week, it's a 1998 Honda elite that we're doing. We're going to be starting the van project. So by the third week to the last week of the month, we're going to be working on the van project, uh, and really going full force next month on the van and have it completely finished. Uh, the 99 Chevy express van project. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much, pretty much it. So again, Guys, this is your time right now. Whatever questions you got for auto body, let me know. This is your time uh, to discuss whatever you want to talk about um, as far as uh, as far as auto body goes. Any type of questions, things you're working on, let me know. All right. Hold on one second here. Just trying to load this page. Okay. Yeah, that's the issue with the one wheel project. The camera wasn't picking up the colors um like it did in you know with the naked eye it was so different i was a little disappointed when shooting when recording it but my video guy tried messing around with the colors but um you know it wasn't the best so i'm hoping you know the next colors that we do uh we'll be able to get you know get better color through the cameras i'm not sure why for some reason the teal really didn't come through that well on um on the one wheel project but uh you know the other color came out really really nice so wheel project but oh all right let's see let's see all right guys seems like a slow day everybody's probably still sleeping <laughs> um I'm going to go ahead and share some links here super quickly while we wait for more people to jump on. Uh, if you're totally new checking out this channel, um, you can go here to grab some free training at learnautobodyandpaint.com. Just posting the link right there. And um, if we don't have many auto body questions today, we can just go to the shop quick and I'll show you around, show you what we're doing, talk about what we're doing. Uh, and the game plan on the next paint job. Um, somebody said, did you get your carb? Michael, did you get your carb rebuilt or finally get a new one? I know you couldn't find the kit, but thought there was a guy who said he could do it for you, something like that. Yeah, well, um, I haven't had time to actually take the carb off of the car yet. I've been doing so many things. Um, been extremely, extremely busy between working on my other online businesses, um, managing crypto the portfolios that i'm doing working on this property here um super super busy um moved a few pieces around the uh the property so we moved the uh the bus location to a different location on my property it's kind of like in this section now and i'm actually in the middle of putting in a 55 by 20 pond so we have like a huge hole in the ground here um and a lot of dirt so this is what we're doing here putting in a huge um i'm putting in a swim pond swim pond slash fish pond um going to be about six feet deep at the deepest end here and four feet deep and uh, we're gonna have some koi in there we're gonna have a jump rock so we can go swimming and uh really going crazy with this build here. So, you know, been, been really busy lately at Paradise Garage, building it out, you know, step by step. But we'll go to the garage quick. It seems like everyone's slow today. Not many people on right now. So I guess the good part is, you know, you guys got more quality attention. 
Okay. Let's see. Still charging. Okay. Rich Reese says, um, yeah, Michael G., I, st I can't find it. I, re I really wish I could find that carburetor. I would definitely pick up a new one or a, or a rebuilt one. Is it best to spray epoxy over fresh blasted steel? Uh, yes, absolutely. I would spray a two-part epoxy on that sucker. Um, let it flash for about two hours, give or take, and then mix up some filler primer. Okay, some 2K filler primer and coat it two heavy coats with filler primer. And then you should be good um, with blocking and, uh, you know, glaze putty if, need, if needed. And if you got to do body work, you could actually scuff that and then put some body filler over the primer and then reprime it. Um, what do you mean or 80 grit first? Well, if it's blasted as in media blasted, you could just spray right over it. If it's bare steel, you can spray right over it. If you want to scuff it up a little with 80 grit, you could. It's not going to hurt. You know, just give it a quick 30 second scuff, you know, whatever panel you're working on and you and you should be you should be golden. Yep, yep, yep. Hold on, guys. I thought somebody was out here, but no, thought they were calling me, but it's across the street. So, uh, any auto body Q and a guys quiet day today. How many people come tuning in from Facebook, Facebook guys type in Facebook, um, YouTube guys type in YouTube. I'm in a streaming software, so I don't, I'm, I'm not actually on YouTube right now or Facebook. I'm, I'm in a streaming software, just kind of going, you know, streaming out to both both of you guys right there so here we go basically i don't know if you guys remember what this panel looked like right we had some flames in it um i know it looks like crap now we got many different colors and this is something that you don't want to put base coat on top of something like this you're going to definitely get a chemical reaction this here that you see, that's raw plastic. That's literally the plastic material. YouTube. Okay, cool, cool, guys. Um, the purple is the original paint. And then we actually did the yellow seven years ago. We painted this thing. And when we did it, we, we flamed out some flames and we pinstriped it with a vinyl decal and clear coated over it. So I had to use 80 grit on this to take out all of the decals and the flames, right? So I used 80 grit, got all that out. I went down to a 320 grit, you know, smoothened it out even more, the whole whole panel. Here, I still a little glossy in here. I have to actually sand in here. Just with my hand, I'm gonna hit it. And then we're gonna 2K filler prime the whole thing, wash it down and wet sand it really nice and it'll be ready for paint, okay? So that's what this front panel looks like. Uh, goes on a 1998 Honda Elite. You guys are going to see the complete build. Um, we had flames on one side of the panel, and then the other panel was just plain. But it's all sanded down, ready to go. We got our headpiece sanded down. And be I wasn't going to prime this, right? But because I used the DA, I cut through. See, if this was this was perfectly painted yellow with clear coat on it, it looked really good. If I took my time and wet sanded with my hand, I could have just scuffed everything up and I could have put base coat right on top of it. Any color, new base coat right on top, followed by my candy and clear coat, right? But because I burned through, I used the DA, I kind of cheated, kind of sanded this thing quick. I burned through a little bit on some edges here. Um, if you guys can see that. All right, so now it's like I might as well prime it because... You could probably get away with basing this as is, um, but I would make sure you base lightly over the raw plastic area, you know, like pieces like that. But, um, you know, I'm going to be doing a 2K filler primer. So I'm like, let me just prime the whole thing, get it one color, wet sand it clean, give it a nice clean cut with 400 grit. And um, 
and paint it. Okay, so let's see. What's up? Thanks, guys, for the uh, for letting me know. I'm curious about how much air moves in your shop. Can you turn both fans on, close the door like you would for painting, walk around the shop holding a string so I can see how much air moves and where? Uh, I mean, I'm not really worried about air. As long as when I'm painting, I just turn this thing on, close my garage door. Close the door that goes into the kitchen of my house, okay? Because this is that's literally the kitchen. Um, and this door I'll actually leave cracked open because it's not enough. Unless I cut another hole and put another filter, I'm depriving the ventilation by that one filter. It's just not enough. I didn't change it yet. It looks a little dusty. I should change that out. But I'll leave this open like two inches when I'm painting. I'll turn the fan on, shut the garage door, and it literally sucks everything out. Strong flow coming through there, and it's just clean air coming through. So I'm not – I haven't had any major issues. But when I paint a full car, um, I'll probably do it in a spray booth over at my friend's shop. Um, but I could – I would feel confident to paint it here, actually. Yo, what's going on? Arnold, long time no see. Hope you're doing well. Lifetime VIP from North Carolina. How's it going, buddy? Hope you're doing well, man. Have you ever painted different pieces or panels that came out different shades of the same color because it wasn't sprayed in the same situation? Um, so are you asking if I've ever painted over different color panels, like a completely new paint job, or if I painted panels and came out different. Is that what you mean? Busy. Busy is good, Arnold. Let me know. Let me know your, your exact question, but yeah, I'm kind of like confused on your question there. Um, YouTube newbie, Tony, this morning, I tried to purchase the VIP for 47 and will let me purchase VIP lifetime for 12 months. So tell me how I can still purchase that package. Um, I'm not sure. Did you try with PayPal or credit card? Let me know. Um, you should be able to get the offer. It's still up. Um, you might want to just resubscribe to learn auto body and paint.com so you can get to that page again to try it again. Because, uh, once you subscribe to the free trainings here, I just sent you the link. Um, the next page, we have a special offer to join VIP for an annual subscription of 47, which is like $3 and 50 cents a month, which is less than a cup of coffee nowadays, uh, for all the exclusive content, free giveaways and VIP support. So try that. If anything, if you still having an issue, Jeffrey, my support team will, will gladly help you out. You can just reach to them at ninja support at learnautobodyandpaint.com. You could even email Tony at learnautobodyandpaint.com. All right, bro. Um, but yeah, I would resubscribe and then just try it again. Um, not painted over fresh paint. Um, no, I've never had an issue where painting multiple panels apart. I mean, that's exactly what I'm going to be doing here, painting all these pieces apart right as long as you're mixing the same paint the same batch spraying the same you know same that day with the same paint mixture you shouldn't have any color match issues unless you're doing candy and you're just putting an extra coat or two on one of the panels versus another or you know what i mean that's the only way you're going to really get a color difference but if you're just shoot, shooting straight base coat you should not see a color difference no matter how many coats of base coat you put on it Okay. Um, no matter how many coats after coverage. Okay. Yeah. So you're going to be fine. And we're going to be doing, you know, these little, how many panels we got? We got four big panels here. Okay. The sides, front head, headlight area. And then these little pieces that go on the uh, muffler and front fork. Um, so again, guys, I'm going to be going live in the next couple days. I'm going to get all of my candy colors, on the bench here, I have more up on the shelf over there. 
Okay, we're gonna get all of our candy colors and we're gonna do a vote on what color uh, to paint this 1998 classic Honda Elite moped, which I love, it runs excellent. There's only 900 miles on it. I love this moped, it's great. Um, I'm thinking tangerine orange, where is it? Or maybe a magenta. Tangerine orange or a magenta with black graphics, black striping graphics. Where is it? Uh, do I have my, uh, I got, and I have actually have purple candy coming. Do you have your own mixing setup? No, I don't. So if I order paint, if I order paint, I'll just order at the local uh, paint supply house here. You know, I could give them the color code. I can give them a body panel of the car to color match. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I do. Uh, the van project, we will also have you guys pick out the color. I'm thinking of green, uh, like a military hunter green with like a white, white striping or pearl white striping. We're going to do a two-tone single stage. And I'm going to do something I've never done before uh, with single stage. So we're going to document the process. I'm going to share the results. And I'm going to let you know how that comes out. I think it's actually going to come out really well. So I have a new idea in mind of doing a two-tone on a single stage. Normally, if you're doing two tones, you're going to want to do it with base coat, clear coat, two, three tones or whatever, you know. Um, but we're going to try it with single stage. I'm pretty confident that it's going to be okay. And uh, we'll test it out on the van. If anything, we're going to learn a bunch. But uh, I, I'm confident it's going to come out great. No problem, Jeffrey. Please let me know if... If, uh, if everything goes well, also, uh, and when you join VIP, I'm looking forward to see you, see you, seeing you in VIP and as a VIP member um, on these live shows as well. Arnold, what's up, bro? Send me, send me some updates, man. What's, what's going on with you? I know you're, you're kicking butt. Um, any other questions, guys? We got about seven minutes left for auto body Q and a, whatever you want to talk about right now is the time to ask, you know, anything pertaining to auto body and paint. I'm here to help guide you and, um, and help you out. What's up, Harold lifetime VIP in the house, Harold, you'll be fine. Just did that on a bike, Tony with single stage and clear coated over it. So basically, I think Arnold, you know what I'm talking about. I'm basically going to shoot my single stage on it. Let it dry for about a, maybe a couple days, three days, four days. Let it cure. Um, mask out my graphic area with fine line tape. Okay. Cover what I don't want painted. Sp wax and grease. The new paint, I'm not even going to sand it. We're just going to lay new paint right on top of fresh paint. I don't think we need to sand it because it's still fresh paint. I think it's still going to bond without sanding. Um, that's how I'm going to do it. And then I'm not going to clear coat it. It's going to just be another single stage. It's kind of like pinstriping. When people pinstripe, they don't sand. They just pinstripe right on top of clear coat or a single stage. And it's fine. So I'm thinking it's going to be fine. We're just going to have some light pinstriping on the van, pearl white or white, you know, whatever I decide on doing single stage. And then what we could do with the, uh, with the color difference, you know, the, the, the basic, the outline is I could pinstripe it or I could leave it alone. So that's what I plan on doing. I'm not going to put clear coat on top of it. Obviously it's a huge van. So there's no way I'm going to be doing all that paint for that thing. We're just going to be doing a single stage on it, get it, on looking glossy and wet mask up graphics spray the single stage done i think it's going to be okay so that's the plan on the van the van project um yeah guys rich reese says where are you from tony i am from the island of oahu right here paradise garage but um traveled traveled a lot, a lot. And in the past couple of years, I've been taking it easy, taking a break from traveling. Actually feels good not, not going anywhere so much, but we'll see. Um, 
have family in the East Coast, lived in Texas for eight years, seven and a half years. I had a had a house in Dallas. I still have it, renting it out right now. Um, but yeah, now I'm on uh, back on Oahu, chilling. So let's see, let's see. Hold on, guys. I'm just kind of going back here. Carlos says, can or have you done roof painting SUV? If what is the link? Yes, we have a complete SUV that we did. Um, it's the actual CRV project in VIP, Carlos. Um, and we have a whole step-by-step -step process on that as well. So seriously, if you haven't, at least get the free training here at Learn Auto Body because we do guide you to other videos on the channel. Like, you know, we'll be color, we'll be covering like how to how to properly mask. You could click the link from within the book and it'll take you to one of our free videos on the blog or on YouTube. Pretty cool. It's it's set up really nice. Took a long time to set that manual up and we just revised it like a year ago. So it's pretty fresh. Um, so Arnold says, oh shit, hold on. Okay, EB, I'm getting, I'm getting to the questions, guys. Bro, one question. My car has been sprayed 10 years ago um, by House of Color. I want to retouch some paint chips. Do I respray the whole car or touch it up? I just, and do I just primer and candy color? Or need well if the paint is 10 years old i would think you'd probably just want to reshoot the whole thing over again because the touch-ups anytime you're doing a touch-up like rock chips i don't know what kind of touch-up you're talking about you know painting the front half you know touch up with a brush filling in rock chips i don't know what, what you're talking and depending on if the car has been sitting in sunlight for a while it's probably faded by now um you're probably going to want to reshoot the whole thing if it was a house of color, I'm guessing it's like some sort of a custom candy color or a can or a custom color. I'm doing a home job. EB, I would also recommend you to check out learnautobodyandpaint.com and drop the link over here. Grab some free training, bro. Uh, we got a lot of organized content over there for you. So Arnold says that's exactly how I did it, but I cleared it afterwards because I did scuff it a little with 800 before adding the graphics. I see. So. So Arnold, you masked it out and then you got sandpaper like super close to the fine line tape and you, you kind of scuffed it in there and then shot it. Cause I was thinking of doing that also, but I'm kind of like, screw it. Let me just shoot right on top of it. Rob Zilla says, so why is pinstriping okay over clear, but you have to sand scuff clear over the stick and last. Well, pinstriping, it's an enamel. So it's not going to come off right away. Right? So that's what I'm thinking when I do, you know, a new fresh coat of paint on unsanded single stage, I think it's going to be okay, actually. It's just like a giant pinstripe is what we're doing, right? So I'm going to try it without sanding it. We're just going to lay it on. All right. The reason why I did that is because you can't feel the line in between the two paints. Yep, I get it. I get it. I get it. And I kind of don't care about that. Um, if anything, if it bothers me or if the line, when I unmask, if it seems like it's super thick, I think it will be kind of thick, but if it bothers me to the point where it's like, uh, then what I could do is outline it with a pinstripe and just seal those edges with a vinyl pinstripe. And I think it'll look good. You know what I mean? So that's another way to, to basically finish it off, give it a, a custom look and have it a two-tone pinstripe, um, you know, with paint. So I'm excited to do that. Actually, guys, I'm thinking of doing the Toyota Tacoma frog green. You guys know what I'm talking about? The Tundra. It's actually on the Tacoma now. Or Jeep has a green, a military green called Sarge green. I've been looking at, and I'm thinking of doing like a, a black and green with a white pinstripe. So, you know, the bumpers will be black. The mirrors will be gloss black. Um, the van will be green and then we'll have like a white pearl white pinstripe, you know, thick like graphic lines around the, the van uh, with a single stage. Paint. That, that's what I'm thinking with the van. I don't know. Maybe you guys, you know, maybe everybody else 
if you guys think, yeah, then I'll do it, you know? Uh, do I have neighbors that complain about the paint odor when I'm painting in the garage? I don't. Um, and I used to paint in a, in a more crowded, you know, subdivision housing, housing area where the houses were basically on like five to 6,000 square foot lots. Like I had a neighbor right there, right there. But if you're cool with the neighbors and you tell them, Hey, I'm going to be painting a little something in my garage, you know, um, maybe move, uh, but you know, I did paint, I, I didn't really paint full cars, but I painted a half a car in my little garage. Um, and no real issue. Fortunately, I'm on, I'm on an acre lot. So my neighbors are pretty far, you know, they're far away right now. So I haven't had any issues with that. And I think a lot of it has to do with you being cool with your neighbors as well. You know, just be cool with them. Um, if they have a car right next door to you and you're painting, I would tell them, Hey, I'm going to be spraying something in my garage. Uh, maybe just move your car over. Cause I mean, you're allowed to, to do some hobby hobby work in your own home garage where you live you know it's not illegal to to have a little hobbyist workshop and paint some cabinets or a motorcycle or whatever you're doing right you just got to be cool with your neighbors um but i do think if you're if you're going to be painting a full car huge car or maybe single stage you know you got single stages is, is nasty you know base coat clear coat is not that bad but single stage creates a lot of overspray and it really gets on the floors, it gets sticky, you're walking around and it's like back, 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 back. You know, you got your shoes. If you're wearing white shoes, it'll turn the color of your, if you're painting red, you'll have, you'll end up with pink shoes. If you know, um, even if you have good ventilation, you will get overspray like that. So, and I was thinking of doing the van in my backyard just for video purposes and for VIP guys. You know, I could easily go to my friend's shop and spray it in the booth, but I'm thinking, hey, wouldn't it be cool to just shoot it under a tent? And I do have tent paint jobs in VIP that we did a while back that I show you, you know, how we got a glossy paint job. A tw we call it the 24-hour El Cheapo paint job. We body worked it, painted it within 24 hours under a tent, and that whole project is in VIP as well. But I might do the van in the backyard on a nice day. You know, just, just blast it in the middle of my backyard. Um, anyway, hopefully that answered your question. I'm getting ready to paint my Willys Wagon metallic copper single stage. Then I'm painting the recessed panels with a satin black over the copper. What do you think? I think that's going to look tight. I think that's going to look very, very tight. Um, what you could do is like what Arnie did is sand it. Okay, sand the areas where you're going to be doing your satin black and then clear coating the whole thing. You know, you could do that. Uh, repainting some parts, but don't want to have to sand all the paint off to repaint. The paint is in good condition to change the color. Can I sand and then paint over? Yes, absolutely. You could uh, just keep in mind a good, decent single stage or base coat paint job is a good foundation to accept a new layer of paint. Okay, whether you're doing single stage again. Um, or a base coat, clear coat. Okay. Uh, like this, this is, this you could paint right over, but because I broke through a little bit, you know, some pl raw plastic, I might just prime some areas on it. Um, if you break through to plastic or raw metal, like this whole piece we're priming, it's, it's, it's good practice to prime. All right. Sometimes, you know, if you have a little bit like this, you could just get away with just basing it. But don't base too thick over it because you will and you could get a chemical reaction of it biting, not sticking properly and uh, wrinkling up. OK, so the key is light coats like I could base this sucker straight and get away with it. But I don't want to do that. I want to put fresh primer, but you could get away with it as long as you spray light coats over and over. If you spray a heavy coat of base on this, I guarantee you will have chemical reactions in between okay from the raw plastic area the clear you can see the clear looks white um into the paint area you're going to get a little bit of uh, biting or paint lifting paul says new vip what's going on paul how are you liking vip you learning anything from the course um any questions please let me know we're here to help you out um, every single week we are here
Just bought an X9 Atom spray gun. Is there a PPS adapter available so I can use disposable cups? Unfortunately, not for the side feed spray guns. Um, I do have one as well, but the only thing you could do, where is it? I think it's in my bus. I always have guns all over the place. Unfortunately, with the side feed, you have to use the side feed cup. There are no adapters for the side feed spray gun. I'm sorry. Um, for sure, on the motorcycle, people get picky. Yeah, people. How many more paint jobs you got lined up, Arnold? Henry Dixon, what's up? Hey, Tony. Hank, lifetime VIP from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I'm working on my Toyota Sequoia running boards. They are plastic. I have two questions. One is, can I clear coat the running board and not have it peel? Um, I So you're talking about raw plastic. You want to clear coat raw plastic? Actually, I've never done that. Um, I don't think I don't think you're going to have an issue. Um, I would wax and grease it, clean it, make sure it's super clean. Spray a very light coat of adhesion promoter. Okay, very light. And then clear coat it. If that's what you want to do. But if I were you, I would sand it with 400 grit, scuff it by hand, 400 grit, wet sand, um, 2K filler prime it to get rid of the texture. Okay, wet sand it smooth and then put your base coat clear coat on it. That's what I would do. I wouldn't clear coat raw plastic. I mean, put a color on it, at least if you want black, then put gloss, you know, put black, black on it. So you get a gloss black, um, but you could water sand the raw plastic. Put adhesion promoter if you want to skip the 2k primer step put adhesion promoter right on the raw plastic then put base coat clear coat right on top of it or you could single stage right on top of it but you should it's recommended to put this on it okay exclusively for polyophene plastic i don't think i even said that correctly but hey what's up buddy how are you? I'm doing great, David. Hope you're doing good, man. Emerald green. Yeah, emerald green would be cool. I, I kind of want to go with a darker green, though. How can I remove deep scratches on the running board? Uh, basically, 2K filler primer. So prep it down, 2K filler primer. It. Henry, aren't you VIP? We do have step-by-step -step videos preparing and painting raw plastic. I live in a townhouse, no issues because my neighbors are cool, uh, but don't abuse it either. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Robzilla says, yeah, I painted my home garage in Ohio, no issues, Basic clear coat, I'm cool with neighbors, and I try and accommodate them. So I spray early in the morning. Another way, guys, to get cool with your neighbors is actually do some jobs for them. Like, I literally did at my other home um, down, in, down in town, my ho in Hawaii like the house where I grew up, I painted, I live in a cul-de-sac. There's like seven homes. I painted cars for three of the three of my neighbors. <laughs> uh, full paint job on my left side, full paint job on my right side, and a touch up on my, uh, my landscaper neighbor a couple houses away. So that how because they see me do, you know, they, they saw me growing up doing this. You know, I was literally 13, 14, 15 coming out with cool paint jobs all the time on like these motorcycles and these mopeds, you know, and then they saw me 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 with the coolest cars, coolest paint jobs, candy paint jobs, classics, you name it. And they're like, dude, how much, you know, how much to paint my car? Like I need a touch up, hook me up. So that's another thing, you know, if you if your neighbors know what you do and, and you're cool with them, they will give you work. You know, I've gotten work from my neighbors. So be cool with people. Don't be a dick. Like I, anytime I move into a new neighborhood, it's not like I move into a new neighborhood all the time, but I had to do it in Texas. Right. And I had to do it here. We moved out here about a year, about a year ago to my new location here. You know, I literally got crisp. Like it was like Christmas time when I moved here, I got Christmas gifts for all my neighbors, like surrounding me. And I gave them some cookies and Hey, we're your new neighbors, blah, blah, blah. If you need anything, let me know. I do this. You know, you introduce yourself. So you got to be cool. 
Guys, I'm sorry. I'm just rambling on <laughs> and I'm, I'm missing the questions. Okay. So I'm going to go back up quickly. Um, yeah. So Robzilla is very, uh, very nice. I mean, I do the same thing, you know, like if there's kids around the neighborhood, just try to do it and accommodate. So there's people so having a party next door today might not be the day you want, you want to paint. You might want to just you know, bite your tongue and uh, paint it the next day. Um, hi, I'm trying to spray my Land Rover Santana 1984. I have a three horsepower compressor using a 988982. The gun hold two bar for a while. Compressor cut takes too long. Any answers? Man, um, I'm thinking you might need a larger tank size. Anytime you're spraying a full car, or a big project, you need air volume, okay? You need the backup storage of air volume. This is why I recommend at least a six, um, 60 gallon is all you need. 60 gallon tank, you know, something that puts out a decent amount of CFM, okay? This is only 11 at 90, 11 and a half, 40. We're not even spraying at 40, okay? Normally you're at 25. So this, is, this number is gonna be higher, okay? And this is a 3.7 horsepower. The other one in Texas I had was a five horsepower. This one's much better, much quieter. I paid like eleven or twelve hundred dollars for my Bel Air air compressor. I picked this up at Cobalt at Lowe's for like six or seven hundred bucks. Best sixty gallon compressor I ever had. Seriously, quiet, and I like it. Oh, that's a cool one. I'm not worried about uh, the lines because I'm using the recessed body lines and I don't think it will show. Cool, cool, cool. Two more paint jobs to do. Awesome, bro. Happy for you. Send me some before and after pictures, man. Seriously. Send me some pictures the next time or send me some pictures. of the. I want to I want to promote you to the VIP. I want to show people what you're doing. You're probably already putting it in Facebook, though. Maybe not. But I want to include those images in the newsletter, bro. Like when I send out newsletters, I want to be like, yo, check out what Arnie did. Give him some work. I'm going to be painting a quarter panel. How do I mask out the rest of the car to blend paint and clear without a hard line? So, yep. So um, we do have step-by-step -step videos of this in VIP. Please check out learnautobodyandpaint.com. But... Um, we we just did something like this on the BMW project um, where we painted the front bumper cover and blended into the fender and clear coated the whole fender. So you have to blend into the next panel, your adjacent panel, and then clear coat that whole panel uh, to get a good blend. OK, and it's also, you know, spray gun technique. As well, damn, we're on for 40, 40, almost 45 minutes. Um, all right, guys, I'm going to kind of wrap it up a little bit. I am going to answer the last couple questions here and um, we can call it a day. And I will be I will be back on next week. And this thing will probably be painted by the weekend. Well, our first coats anyway, if I end up doing more crazy black graphics or uh, adding more colors, we're going to need a couple more days to sand and, you know, outline and put a new a different color on it but we'll see i'm gonna go live probably on maybe wednesday or thursday for 15 20 minutes guys we can get on do a quick auto body q a and then kind of figure out what color but i'm thinking are you guys good with like a tangerine orange i'm thinking tangerine orange candy this is gonna pop with black graphics tangerine and black for the new for the new moped color let me know if you like that if you like that, then let's just roll with that. Um, is okay. Follow up quick question. It has good condition paint and clear on it, solvent based. Now repainting with water based paint. Any issues with that? Uh, and what grit? So you always want to paint over 400 grit. It's a really good grit uh, to accept new base coats. Um, if you're painting single stage, you could even finish off with like a 320 grit and you'll be fine. Okay, you go a little coarser, you go a little rougher. You don't have to be as, you know, fine and as meticulous prepping if you're painting a single stage versus a, a two stage. Okay. Um, are you near the North Shore at all? I was there December 6th working the work 
the wrong week because the rain was coming down hard almost the whole time. Yeah, it was. It comes down hard once in a while here. We'll get like a week of rain, like monsoon style. But yeah, I'm actually on the North Shore. I'm in I'm in Haleiwa. Some of the best beaches in the world out here. Uh, 402 Garage. Hey, love the videos. I just painted my truck two-tone and had some light over spray. Uh, what can I wipe it off with without hurting the paint? I use single stage enamel. You can just get a clay bar. Any clay bar, Amazon it. Um, they also sell them at Zula.com. This is where I get a lot of my automotive stuff. Our, this is our partner site here. Um, I'll drop the link for you. They have a clay bar. Just search clay bar. Um, and you basically, you could just, we have videos in VIP as well. We have videos on our channel on how to use a clay bar. So clay bar will take overspray off um, painted panels. If you got overspray on it. You mix a solution of dishwasher soap and water, um, you know, like a very few drop, few drops in a gallon. You know, here's what I do. So I have some Dawn here. Um, I don't know. It's probably like that much of Dawn in it. Very little, not much, you know, maybe like two, two tablespoons worth. And then I fill it up with water and then you could use this to just pour on your panel and just get the clay bar and just comes right out. Um, they try to sell you solutions, but you don't need to buy it. This, you know, dish soap works perfect. Hey, Tony, can I do basically clear coat on an engine block and manifold heaters? Uh, the manifold. Yeah, you could. You could just make sure you prep it really well and prime it. I would put a 2K primer on it. Make sure you sand it really well. And uh, and you can shoot basic clear coat. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Um, if you want to kind of like go safer and not have to worry about it ever chipping, then just get the uh, the heat paint, the 500 degree heat paint. Um, I forgot what, what brand makes that. You guys know what I'm talking about. Du is it dupli color maybe but yeah look up olive drab green okay i'll look it up is that a jeep color oh yeah that's a nice green that's a military full-on military green for sure <clears throat> i'm thinking i want to go something like that with the van that would look pretty dope you know, like a military green on that van with black. I just pulled up a uh, Jeep Rubicon. That color it looks it looks nice. Yeah, that and black go really well. Um, I have an 80 liter compressor, low DP, have lots of big houses. So trying to paint Land Rover in a shed for low noise. I see. Tangerine orange would be excellent. Can you buy a bigger tank for bigger? Can you buy a bigger tank for compressor than put three horsepower motor on it? Um, yeah, I've had VIPs actually connect air compressors. I've I haven't had the need to do it because I've always had a, a large enough air compressor. But you can hook up two thirty gallons just to give you a little bit more extra volume, you know. Um, but if you have a small horsepower, a one and a half horsepower or something, it's probably, it's still going to take a little longer to pump up. You know what I mean? And uh, to replenish your, your air. Awesome guys. So hopefully this helped. Hopefully you guys got some questions answered, got some ideas. I'm going to drop the link again for Zula.com. If you're looking for awesome spray gun, same spray guns that I use. Um, actually just got another one. Adam X88. Arnold, did you try using the gun? Let me know. Um, and I'm going to post a link again right here to learn auto body. If you guys are brand new, go here to get some free training. And um, if you're interested in joining VIP, there's over 250 hours of step-by-step -step content um, on everything VIP. And we're adding a bunch more this year. We're adding um, the moped project. The Tesla project, the van project, and the 67 Chevelle 
got a busy year ahead of us. A lot of custom projects going to be painted. And, um, and yeah, guys, I don't know if you saw the new addition to the family, but there's Zeus. Zeus is two months old right now. And uh, purebred German Shepherd. He's cute. And here's Nala. She's been a very, very good nanny. And, uh, and mommy training, you know, helping play with Zeus and keeping him busy and letting him bite her all over and they wrestle and they fight. It's, it's super cute. I've never seen dogs play like that before in my life. And it's, it's just nice to look at, you know, it's just, it's funny to look at them and they, they like make all kind of dog noises and it's hilarious. Anyway. Thanks guys for tuning in. Hit the like button. Arnold, good to see you here. Dan, Paul, who else? Got a bunch of guys here. 402 Garage, Dan Swansky, Michael G, Robert, Forrest, David, some names I can't pronounce. But anyway, thanks guys for tuning in. I'll see you guys next week. Keep your eyes open for new videos. We got new videos coming out again shortly. Edwards, peace. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe. We got new videos coming out. Like I said, uh, the content is being created as we go. Peace. Tom, thank you for tuning in. Have a good one, guys. Have a good one.